Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round one of the second day of Swiss. It's technically a day 1B. It's another set of Swiss, essentially. It's rounds one through five, again, for another set of people, both Friday and Saturday's heat will then merge into Sunday's event. Today, I do have a co-commentator for this round, and his name is... Matt. Hello. Hello, Matt Matt T. Give yourself a Matt T. Matt T. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, Matt, it turns out that today is your birthday. Yeah. And if anybody uh, has watched GSP for long enough, you were witness to the very first set of Matt Facts. Now, Matt, <laughs> what event was it the, the, the first time we did Matt Facts? Uh, the last Nova Open. It was the last Nova Open. All right, so we got we got Matt Facts here for you. If you were here the last time in the chat, go ahead, throw up some Matt Facts. And uh, today we got more, and we have some other some other interesting information that we're going to give you. But let's go ahead. Let's break down this uh, this game a little bit. So that we can uh, we can get things going. Let's go ahead and throw this over here. All right. So on the left side we have Bryant Francis flying the Resistance. We have Poe Dameron, Nia Nub, Eloasti, and Temin Wexley. And that uh, that Temin Wexley is the boosty Temin. Uh, Eloasti has that ability to use Talon rolls and. They are white. Uh, Nia Nub can execute red maneuvers and able to get rid of stress with his ability when landing in range one. And Poe Dameron is extremely maneuverable. Excited to see what that is. We'll break down the cards a little bit more here in a moment. Uh, what do we have on the right side, Matt? Uh, on the right, we have Andrew Linsky with Bosk, Fenrau, Joy Rakoff, Cad Solis, and a Mandalorian Royal Guard. All righty. So on on that side, you know, yesterday we yesterday we didn't have any scum and villainy players whatsoever. This is like I was we started round one. Matt, originally I wanted you to be on round one. Yeah. Right, so we can start the Matt facts. You got the buy. Yeah. Of course, that's how it worked out. But uh, my second choice was I need a scum and villainy list because yesterday we did not have a single scum player. Not mm -hmm. a single one. So, um, I mean, I had to take the opportunity now because, I mean, listen, I'm not saying that Andrew's going to do bad in this this tournament. <laughs> what I'm saying is that there's a lot of people who disagree with him as scum is a viable option when you don't see scum out on the table. Yeah. So, um, let's go ahead and I want to talk a little bit about Poe Dameron's ability. So, just give me a second to go ahead and pull it up here. So Poe Dameron's ability, before you execute a maneuver, you may spend one charge. If you do, ignore obstacles during that maneuver. Oh, wow. That's that's pretty solid. Just just like, what, what obstacles? All right? And you have two charges that are recurring. Um, after you fully execute a maneuver, you may spend two charges to perform a white boost action or a red barrel roll action then if you performed a red barrel roll action exposed one damage card if able that's that's pretty awesome yeah. <laughs> i mean we, we, so do you know what that is mimicking his ability uh no so uh do you remember the beginning of the rise of skywalker yes and Poe's doing all that crazy like hyperspace stuff with the Falcon. Mm -hmm. That's what they, it's, it's, it's a hyperspace skipping. Uh, mm -hmm. Take damage for maneuvering, for repositioning. That seems like a good deal with eight health, three shields. Mm hmm. Absolutely. It looks like you got a shout out in the chat. Yeah. Yeah, happy birthday to my grandson, Matt. Meemaw loves you and wishes you good luck in the second round. Congratulations. Thanks, Meemaw. Bye. Hey, look at that. It's racking up wins. I just show up and I collect wins. That's, it's, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah. Now, here, here's the thing, Matt. We were talking uh, about this deal that, uh, that your father created. This like, oh, this is, this is funny. One dollar for every happy birthday he receives during the tournament. He didn't put any terms on this. Yeah. So we're going to, in the next planning phase, we're going to try to subvert these rules a little bit. All right. So uh, we'll, we'll do that here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and see where we're going positioning-wise. Looks like Bryant is 
Kind of, he started at the top of the board, doing a little loop-de-loop -loop here. And that should be, if I'm not mistaken, that is Temin in the green X-Wing. Ah, we got our blind bags. We'll talk about this during the break. All right, wow, that's a really aggressive move. So this is chance engagement. Uh, what are the rules for chance engagement, Matt? Uh, if you're range two from the center objective and you're the only ship there, you get uh, two points. If there are two ships, like your ship and mm -hmm. an enemy ship, then uh, you both get one point. Unless you have the, I uh, think, unless it's two. Yeah. Like, unless you have a medium base or a large base, it counts as two ships. So that, that one's actually for assault at the satellite array, so okay. it's not like who's got more. You just have to be there. All right. It's just like, all right, am I there? Are we there? All right, cool. And, and that's enough. But yeah, that's an easy rule to get confused because it's different depending on the, uh, on the scenario. Yeah. All right, so, you know, I'm just, I'm curious. You know, Bryant was very aggressive in getting Temin in the center. He's a very maneuverable ship. But at the same time, these, these fangs can catch you by surprise. I'm, I'm curious to see how this ends up working out. Like, yeah. is, he, is he planning on bringing everybody else that aggressively or only Temin? Yeah. Staring down a uh, fang fighter is not very smart with the Beskar. They take, like, no damage from everything. <laughs> Do you know what that Beskar uh, does off the top of your head? Uh, it takes off a crit, I think. Like, it's like impervium, but for a fang fighter. Mm hmm So yeah, while you defend, if the attacker is in your front arc, yeah. before you would be dealt a face-up damage card, you can spend one charge to be dealt that card face down instead, or spend two to just be like, no thank you. <laughs> <laughs> one charge, less ouch. Two charge, no, no thank you. I'm good. I'll pass on that. Which do you think is more worth it, spending one charge or both? I think it, it completely comes, it's situational, right? Yeah. So I think in the early game, um, if you know that you need another, like uh, one more turn of aggression, because you, right, you have only four health with those, yeah. uh, those Fang Fighters, but really they do their most work at range one, mm -hmm. right? Especially like Fen Rao. So in the early, I'm probably gonna spend both just yeah. get rid of the card that way i'm assuming that only one card's coming in i'm coming in clean again and i can stay aggressive because even with one face down you know uh, uh damage card you're still 75 percent depleted so yeah i like spending both yeah that's what i would do i think all right i need to get these get these colors right here so we have joy Rekoff is in Fen is painted kind of gray and red. All right, so we're going to give him a, a grayish red there. Joy Rekoff has the, the fully red collar, so we'll just change that to red. Then we have Cad Solis in pink, pretty sure. You have better eyes than I do. What do you see there? Um, is that right? The Cad Solis? Yeah, it's Cad. And then the... Mandalorian Royal Guard is orange. Perfection. On the other side, we have Temin. I think we have actually our colors accidentally correct. Mm -hmm. Temin is in green. One of them's yellow, and the other one's blue, not red. Yeah. So I'm gonna go take a look real quick. All right. All right. All right. Don't burn it down, Matt. All right. Don't. Don't do it. I got to. All right. <laughs> Looks like the Fang Fighters are moving in towards the center point with uh, Bryant's. X-Wings. All right. All right, looks like we have our first attack there. So we're going to make a couple corrections on our thing here. We actually had those colors flipped. So that is Ello reaching.
There we go. We got those colors fixed now. So did, did Elo uh, have a have a have an attack here? Uh, I think uh, they're measuring again. I think obstructed range three. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, he's got obstructed range three right now. Looks like it's Elo Asti firing at Joy Rekoff. I know we had the, those colors wrong before. Yeah. We got two hits. Four natty of eight. Easy, baby. Easy. <laughs> Just that, guys. Listen, everybody at home. You have to will the evades into existence. Yeah. All right. If will you believe them. Believe it'll happen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like a Christmas movie, but I like <laughs> yeah. it. Christmas movies are my favorite movies. <laughs> That's seven natty evades for uh, counted, being counted up by Firecast Focus. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Our next attack. Ooh, two crits. Ooh, hit, crit, crit. Could do some damage. Temin into, oh Man. my, look, shrug it <laughs> off, baby. These, Bosk says, what, I, no, you have no power here. <laughs> Actually, no, that would have been into, uh, into Cat Solus, not into Bosk. Yeah. Uh, looks like Bosk checking for marksmanship. Not sure if that was on. You'll know if they switch it. Nope. All right. Well, I guess nobody's taking damage today. That range they obstructed shot is against four uh, defense dice. Mm -hmm. It's kind of scary, but like taking that shot could put on some damage. Like yeah, I'm taking like range three shots with like dirge with like two power uh -huh. base, and I put on like one or two damage and it it's, helps. You just have to try, right? You can't yeah. you can't not roll those dice because. Sometimes people roll like that. Yeah. Right? Complete garbage. Three damage going into Elo Atsi. That's all the shields ripped off in that one attack. I was playing game at my local store, mm -hmm. and um, uh, the person I was playing against, he had bombers. I think it was two bombers, uh, Empire bombers. And whenever I attacked him, he rolled, he had uh, two green dice always. He always rolled two blanks. Like, I attacked him like five times, two blanks. Well, speak, I, speaking of blanks, we just got some more hit, hit, crit uh, onto Elo Atsi. We're not sure what the crit is right now. It wasn't put in the box, but that means he's down to one hole. Half points for sure secured. That was not good after the start of the game. That's right. Elo sad. This is, just, this is playing out like The Force Awakens. He just goes <laughs> pop. Seen on screen for like two seconds. Having boss with dead man switch, where would you try to fly him? I would probably try to get him near Poe because, like, range one shots, and then when he blows up, put another damage on him. Yeah, I mean, right. when you have the, uh, the dead man switch, your job is just to be in the mix. Yeah. It's like, like, you can't ignore me. You're walking around like a little boogeyman. <laughs> All right, Matt, let's hit the people with some Matt facts. And I'll, I'll ask you, it's like I'm interviewing. All right, so this is uh, year two of Matt facts. Yeah. All right, 13th birthday today. Woo. Uh, uh, woo! You made it. Yeah. You did. You're a teenager. Mm -hmm. That's right. You're, you're gonna start getting a mustache soon. <laughs> yeah. Watch out. Watch out. I bet. I bet your mustache would look sick. Nice. Good luck. <laughs> All right. So, um, fat Matt fact number one. He said you have a sister. Yeah. All right. Her little sister. Her little sister. Her name's Allie. Yeah. H how old is she? She's so you're 10. 13. She's 10. Yeah. Three years apart. That's a good gap. Yeah. That's a good gap. Enough years where like you guys are independent. But enough, a small enough gap where you guys probably still like enjoy each other's company yeah. and willing to hang out and play and stuff like that. That's good. Okay. I like that. All right. So, what's your favorite faction? This is a uh, Matt fact number two. Separatist. Separatist. I always play separatist. Why? So why not? I mean, I don't. I don't know. There's so many people that uh, they just they just they choose not to bring separatists. Yeah. Right. Not because they're bad, but just because. I don't know, are they uncomfortable playing this weird faction in the Star Wars world that kind of got duped into a war? Yeah. I mean, the whole galaxy did. Uh, yeah. Everybody got I duped. Did. Everybody, everybody's wrong all the same time. 
<laughs> Don't play separate. Listen, the man will play what he wants. <laughs> All right. So uh, it says he is a scout and has the tenderfoot rank. I have no idea what that means. All right. So I've been in Boy Scouts. So there's Cub Scouts, which is just basically you just have to be in the pack or yeah yeah pack and like then, I'm a part of the team yeah and, that's and then about you it. advance up but yeah. for Boy Scouts which I'm in now it's like after fifth grade yeah then you actually have to do work and, <laughs> okay fair and, all right uh, there is seven ranks maybe uh -huh. it's like scout rank which is like the base uh -huh. and then tenderfoot which is what I'm at all right and second class first class star life and then eagle eagle is like oh eagles top. eagles i i know that because a couple of my 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 friends their their older sons uh have gotten the eagle eagle rank and i know i know that it's a big deal i just it my, is. my scouts experience was i joined in third grade okay for two weeks okay and i don't remember why but we just never went back yeah yep that which it happens. It at happens times. a lot in my <laughs> uh, Boy Scout troop. Like yeah. some people join, they never show up. Yeah. Like, so I had to convince my friend. Like I had to threaten him to come. <laughs> you better come. <laughs> I I remember we did build the birdhouse. It's the one thing we did in those two weeks. We built the birdhouse. Nice. Do I know where that birdhouse is? I don't. Yeah. My parents moved to Florida when mm -hmm. I was like going to college so a lot of that stuff kind of disappeared it's somewhere it's probably in a box somewhere to be completely honest yeah. but i know i built it and that's what matters i know how to build a birdhouse now yeah all right here we go looks like we are back to activation and bosk is doing kind of what you were saying matt he's just he's just getting in the grill of poe dameron yeah how much uh attack dice does bosk have like as a base two yeah. All right. It's three damage range one. Or yeah. Three let's dice. And ver versus one agility, right? Yeah. Now we'll see if Poe lets him. That's that's part of the uh, part of the thing. Poe could just be like, no, no, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna fly away. But he's got to try. If he bumps, I mean, a range zero attack isn't always the worst. Like, mm -hmm. he can still put on some damage at least. Uh, one thing uh, that got brought up earlier, somebody was asking what's Joy Rekoff's ability. He has the ability to reduce uh, enemy agility by spending a charge that you have on a missile or torpedo. Mm. So the reason it was only two agility versus Eloatsi was because he used the ability to reduce it back down to two rather than it being three because it was obstructed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have some friends, some friends out of France in the chat. How's it going? I know we're speaking French in the chat, and that's cool. And I see you, and I want to let you know that I love you. That's all. Mandalorian Royal Guard hitting the gas here. Three bank. Gotta get in that point. That's right. I mean, it seems like the uh, the target here is, is interesting. So those three fangs in the middle have essentially switched targets, right? They're like, all right, we beat the crap out of Eloatsi. Is Fenral there just to clean it up, you think? Yeah, I think I could either go in and try to, like, move all the ships towards Poe and uh, uh, Temen, or he could just, like, three bank, try to finish off the other X-Wing. Yeah. I don't know. All right, so Firecast Focus saying, hoping that Poe dialed in that three bank remember with that ability, he can essentially just ignore that space trash out there. Yeah. Three bank, boost, and be and be fine. You end up stressed, but I mean, it's 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 a good move to arc dodge. Um, at least you would at least arc dodge Bosk and probably Joy Rekoff, maybe even the Mandalorian guard. It's gonna be close though. Yeah. All right, so it looks like Temin did did he end up bumping or did he land that? I think he made it. Wow. It looks like he made it. That's that's pretty sweet. <laughs> if Fenrau goes in though, that's gonna be painful. That is right. <laughs> Hello, five dice to your face. Yeah. Oh, and it's engine upgrade, no stress. Oh, that Falcon can do whatever it wants. 
Now, this is a problem, though. Yeah. Elo bumping means that if uh, if Fenrau kind of dialed in a figure it out later three forward, mm-hmm. into Pikachu Japan, three forward, boost, and just delete. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Took the stress focus. I would not take it because there's so many ships around there. I would rather like have it, see what happens, mm-hmm. be able to barrel roll or boost out. Oh, the audio's off. Forgot. <laughs> uh, je t'aime to my my French friends. Je t'aime. All right, all right, and Fenrau is in the grill of Eloatsi. Here it comes. Hold on to your butts. He's gone. Now, let's see. Did he dial the three bank in there with Poe? Yes, he did. Sure did. Here comes the boost. Oh, man. Actually, the boost, I think it's going to get him out of all of the fangs. Dirty. Absolutely dirty. Yeah. Note that there rock. That rock right there, Mm -hmm. it's kind of obstructing the shots, though. Like, he could take the one at Bosk. I think I would shoot at Boss because he's not really near anybody, right? Just blow mm-hmm. him up, take him off the board. I mean, that that's definitely a possibility. One of the other things you got to think about is follow-up shots. But let's, talking about shots, here comes Fenrau. So, yeah, I'll spend that focus just to yeah. guarantee remove you off the board. It Dude, doesn't matter. Is. It doesn't matter, Matt. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Here you go. Hit great. Four points going to him. Yep. So with that, with the scenario points and killing that chip right now, we have a total of three to seven. Andrew leading. All right. Looks like he's favoring going at Cad Solis there. Yeah. And he's doing it. All right. Let's see how this plays out. Ooh. Got a... So nothing. Right, nothing on either side. Nothing on that side. Two focuses. Blanks on the on the evades. That was a chance to possibly do some damage. But Poe, um, you know, really good at arc dodging. He's uh, not, you know, doing big damage. Not necessarily his forte. Yeah. All right, single crit coming in for the resistance. Don't even need it. Okay. <laughs> What's the natty count up to? Like 12, 13 something? <laughs> uh, it's, it's pretty high. Yeah. All right, one hit coming in from the scum. Plenty. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I guess they decided not to do damage to each other this turn. Yeah. Besides Elo, they just agreed on that. Like, hey, we can mm-hmm. do that. Goodbye. All right, no more damage. It's all right. Ooh. The French are planning their takeover of Chicago, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. The French will return to Chicago. They will. Coming back. Yeah, I mean, Worlds is awesome. It's 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 one of my favorite things to see so many people from around the world who play this game coming together. Yeah. 
And in Worlds this year is going to be kind of huge. Like the number of of uh, invites that are going out is like a lot. There's a lot of store championships. Like, we might run out of space. <laughs> it just depends. All right, spends the evade there. Safe. When and where's Worlds? It's in Chicago. Technically, it's in Schaumburg, suburb. <laughs> uh, but same thing. Close, close enough. Well, as somebody who lives from actual Chicago, I usually get mad at people who say it. Okay. But for this, for this, I'll claim Worlds. I'll say fine. <laughs> you guys can call yourself from Chicago. I'll claim that Worlds. I'll take that. <laughs> they set it up in my backyard. They say we like Dion. We'll do it by them. So he doesn't have to, you know, fly anywhere mm. easily. All right, looks like we're back in the planning phase, Matt. You know what that means? More Matt facts. More Matt facts. All right. Probably, this is definitely one of my favorite Matt facts on this list. You play the cello. Yeah. So you started when? Uh, last year in sixth grade. All right, so this is your second year of cello. How's it going? Good. All right, I'm going to test your knowledge here a little bit. All, All right. right. You know what a D major scale is? Nope. No. Yes. Yeah. It's not like all the things on the D string. All the things on the D string plus some of them on the A string. Okay. Let's see if this sounds familiar. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D? Yeah. Yeah, that's a yeah. D major scale. So you do. Right. You just didn't know the name. But now you do. Cool. You're welcome. Thanks. All right. When well, your teacher brings it up. <laughs> awesome. Is there a certain song that you guys have played that you've really enjoyed? Not really. Are you saying that you don't have a standout one or you haven't enjoyed any of the songs? Which one is that? Yeah, uh, we don't play that much songs. All so right. there isn't really that like standout to me. I mean, as a fifth as a as a beginner, it can be kind of tough the variety because yeah. it's all about like establishing the technique first, mm -hmm. which is probably maybe what your teacher is focusing on is like yeah. how do you hold it? Like how do you get a sound that doesn't sound like a dying horse? <laughs> Those type of things. I get it. I get it. Wow. Norby dropping viola jokes. I'm offended. I'm a viola player by trade, sir. <laughs> How dare you? So let me bring you into the fold of orchestra um, humor. Violas are, histo violas are historically made fun of. They're considered, like, people joke and say, like, they're, worst vi they're like, well, worse violin, essentially. But I think the viola gets a bad rap. The viola mm -hmm. gets a bad rap because, like, growing up, you probably heard of a violin, right? Yeah. Just like in every day. Mm -hmm. But you never heard of a viola. No. I, I, think, I think viola has a PR problem, essentially. <laughs> so it has a public relations problem. <laughs> Trumpets are the king. <laughs> uh, I mean... You matter. You matter. Yeah. King. Uh, not in, mo in modern, in today's day and age... The, the leading brass instrument is the French horn. It's just the truth. <laughs> it's the sound of every modern soundtrack. Yeah. It used to be the trumpet. But uh, I got overshadowed when horn players were like, wait, we can play loud too and not just go oompa, oompa, oompa. There you go. We got, we got the musicians coming out here. Now, there's no bracket today. That's, all, that's the old world bracket. Trumpets without question. <laughs> Yo, we have the trumpet players are coming to each other's defense. Oh it, no. It's, no, it's fine. That's that's very much a trumpet behavior. They kind of look like <laughs> a little heard, you know. I remember them in college too. They acted like, like that too. All oh, trumpets! And we're like, oh trumpets. <laughs> <laughs> no. Trumpets matter. Trumpets matter. I love I love the trumpet. It's a great, great instrument. The French horns are taking over Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are funny. All right, let's hit another math fact here. You're taking advanced math in middle school. Ah, cool. Yeah. I mean, that's important. It's one of those where if you can, why not push yourself, right? Yeah. Algebra 1. Algebra 1. Uh. 
All right. Scary. I mean, it's just, you know, when we start getting into that more advanced math, especially algebra, algebra is just problem solving. It's like, I have this much of this here, I have that much of this there, but I'm missing something, how, how do? Right? That's mm -hmm. you're, you're doing math to figure out missing things. And that's, I think algebra out of all of the, um, like, is one of those math concepts that you'll use a lot in your life. And then when you get older, you use geometry ideally to uh, when you're like doing stuff in your house. Yeah. Where can I find the tournament bracket? There is not a tournament bracket yet. Math is evil. <laughs> All righty. Oh, if you want like the the data, there you go. I thought you were asking for like a, a actual bracket because there there is there is technically not a bracket. If you want the to the the tournament um, info, yes, that is it. But here we go. Ello, not Ello. Ello's dead. Excuse me. Tamin. Tamin. Basically taking a turn off here. Yeah. Too hard in a boost forward. Mm-hmm. So what I'm what I'm curious about is like Andrew was able to get um LO off the board very quickly. Yeah. But I think chasing Poe would be a mistake. Yeah. He's so maneuverable. That I, I, I don't I don't think it's worth the time it would take to track him down. Focus on the X wings, because mm -hmm. Poe Poe doesn't have a lot of punch. You know he's got Magpulse war, Warhead sure and Trick Shot, but he's lacking in modifications. Yeah, Fang Fighters all need it like range one, front arc. I mean, only have a front arc, but yep. range one he can just like get out of that so easily. Very easily. So. Focus on the X-Wings. Yeah. I think a lot of people would be tempted to uh, to go after that Falcon. Mm -hmm. So today we got 41 players here at the Nova Open Day 1B. Yeah, a lot of people. Then mm -hmm. some from yesterday, like, have to come over to today. Uh, no, nobody had to transfer. Some people, well, some people did. They, they chose to uh. for whatever reason. Hmm. All right, so we did get a split in the Fang Fighters here. One to the left, two to the right. I'm not loving it. I mean, he's going two and two, right? Fenrau mm. and Cad going to the left. The other one's to the right. If I was to split the Fang Fighters, I would have Fen going after um, Poe because he's really where like all the damage is at. Mm -hmm. Range one, he can do everything. Huh. Interesting. All right, mm -hmm. 4K pattern analyzer boost. Man, if <laughs> oh, he's got the barrel roll. Okay. For, for a second, I didn't. I didn't see that for a moment. If yeah. he would have stayed where he was, there's a good chance Fenral just eats him up. They, the turn with the two bank. Mm -hmm. hmm. Two straight Fenral. Yep, if Nian would have stayed there, barrel roll to the right and get popped. Mm -hmm. So now he's trading shots with Cad Solus. I think, of course, if Cad has him in arc, it's kind of close to the angle yeah. there. And Nian was able to use his ability to get rid of all that stress. His abilities after when you receive 
a stress if you have an enemy ship within range one. You just chuck the stress. Yeah. You say what? What stress? I got you. Boss all the way out there. He's, he's so like, lonely. Yeah. Lonely little lizard man. <laughs> and let's see. Is Posto on the runaway? No, he's coming in. Mm. Saying I'm really good at running away close too. So he'll use the ability again. Only costs one charge each time. Yeah. He's got some pretty good shots there. Got like all of the ships. All right, boosting and is gonna have some shots. Can't get Fenrau, but has plenty of choice at which uh, Fang Fighter he wants to get in. I will say I am. If you had to ask me which ships am I uh, enjoying the enjoying that I like the positioning of, I really like the the resistance right now. I think it's uh, yeah. it's a good turn for them. Mm -hmm. Things are kind of pointing everywhere. One hit from Poe, able to get it to two. Andrew does end up taking one damage there. On looks like Cad Solis. Another shot going into Cad, keeping up the focus fire. What's this shot, Matt? Crit, crit, crits. Oh, nice. Nutty of AIDS. Nutty. Um, his wings are closed, but he's got him in the bullseye. His wings are closed. There's uh, there's the the flappy wing, the token next to him. It's the the closed side. Mm. Next shot coming in here from the Fangs. One for one. I don't think much damage is going to go through this round. No trades. No trades. I mean, we, be, getting half points on or at least one damage on CAD was a big deal. Mm. For sure. And we are back to dials. All right. So this is your uh, some more mat facts. Uh, and I believe you said that these this list of map facts were written by your sister. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Pretty solid. That's good. It's a good. There's nothing mean on here. It means you and your sister have a good relationship. That's nice. Yeah. At least most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> All right. So he says he always has a positive attitude. That's a good man. Yeah. That's good. It's it's one of those things where you can. A lot of times on my, it's not on this laptop. On one of my laptops, I have this sticker, huge sticker that says, choose happy. Because sometimes your mindset can definitely improve your day. Yeah. yeah just just try, try to have a good time, live life big and happy. Uh, this is your second Nova Open. Mm -hmm. All right, you got to go for the hat trick next year. Yeah. I got to get the third one. And you love video games. Is there any specific video games that you have been focusing on lately? Um, not lately, but Hollow Knight is my favorite. I know, like, everything about it. Okay. I have not played that one. Is this, what, is it on Switch? Yeah, it's on Switch. I think it's on Xbox, too. All right. Yeah. Man, I don't have an Xbox anymore, but I have mm -hmm. a Switch. Hollow Knight. All right, so if, if you were to try to sell me on Hollow Knight, like, is it Dion? You got to get Hollow Knight. Why? All right, so... Story is there's this little dude who goes around, kills stuff, uh huh, and then he gets like powers along the way, uh huh, um, by drinking the blood of his enemies. Yeah, got it. Pretty much. Cool. Um, <laughs> basically you have to like figure out like what happened in the story. Like it doesn't like tell you like what happened, like why everything is how it is. Uh -huh. It's like you gotta like do research and follow the lore and stuff. Ah, okay. Yeah. So there's like. 
how the end-ish boss, like, mm -hmm. there, you can get all the DLCs and stuff. There's, like, four or something. Yeah. And then there's, like, more end bosses. There's 112% total. Okay. It's, like, really hard, though. What, what percent are you at? 108. <laughs> it's hard. Because, like, to get 112 uh, for this, like, one DLC, you have to do, like, a ton of boss rushes. Mm -hmm. Plus added ones, like, um, there's one where you have to, like, fight one dude, and then you fight two dudes at once. And said it's all three at once. So, as stuff like Ooh. that. It's, okay. And all of the bosses are just, like, much harder versions of them in normal game. You gotta play perfect. Yeah, that sounds like fun. I'll, I might, it, when I have time to play video games, I'll look into it. All right. uh, I'll put that on the top of my list to uh, to download. All right, here we go. Zoom, zoom time. Are we gonna get some K turns here? Try to get these fangs involved, or are they gonna go the long way around? 4K. Hmm. It's a red maneuver, so we'll be receiving a stress token, and we'll have to do a blue next turn to get rid of it. All of the fangs doing the K turn. I mean, sometimes it's the best move. Mm -hmm. You gotta get behind your opponent. Especially with, like, Grievous. That uh, sloop really helps. Uh huh. Uh, here's a little Dion fact. The first time I played X-Wing, I didn't realize what a K-turn was, so I didn't do it. And my opponent and I, my very first game, just were two ships just going in a circle around each other because we couldn't figure out how to flip around. Yeah. Strong, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here comes Fen. No, not Fen. Rao. That's Joy Wreckoff. Hmm. Let's see where Poe's going. He's probably going to bump unless he goes zoom. Mm-hmm. It definitely feels like the... Uh, that's that's what Joey Rekoff is trying to do, trying to get in the way. But also, if Poe is able to jump over Joy, it ends up putting Joy in the back arc, like in the in the back section where yeah. the arc is currently not pointing. So it's a it's a safe space. Yeah. Oh man, but Temin, Temin. is taking up some space himself. In the barrel roll. Bold. Mean? I think Poe, if I'm gonna like fire straight or something onto that rock, use the ability. Mm -hmm. not That's probably anything. why he did the barrel roll, right? Just yeah. to get him out of the way. All right, three turn here from Nian. Looks to possibly have that Mandalorian guard just outside its arc. We'll find out here soon. And here comes Fenral, one hard. I think we're just going to get a focus boost, but you know that Poe will be firing at you. Yeah. It's going to be a, a tough choice, but it does get you range one at least into Nian. Will it be worth it? We will find out. Hmm. Everybody's in that objective right now. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's ever going to go like one sided, like two points for one side. Ooh, two yeah, bangs. if you do that in chance engagement, you are probably going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> you never want to give up the center for a turn. I mean, that's such that's realistically is a pretty big swing. Oh, yeah. Poe with a bump.
Need to get stress focus. Didn't he bump his own ship though? Or who did he who did he bump? Which ship? I'm sorry. Uh, I thought he hit his own, but he took a stress focus, so I guess not. Well, here's Fenral. Ooh. Big missile can spend focus for five, but he's got to deal with Poe Dameron's shot. Is he willing to risk it? So double checking, probably Mandalorian, um, the Beskar armor card. So it says you have to be in the enemy's front arc. Yeah. Right, so it just depends. I, we can't see that line, but if that line intersects the back, that back corner of Fen Rao, then it might be worth doing here because you at least you have a defensive tool available mm -hmm. to you after getting shot. I'll be right back, okay? All right. Crits, one All right. Hit. What happened there? Uh, Bryant rolled uh, two crits and a hit, and you rolled an evade. Don't know who the attack was on, but two crits on Ven. Oh no! Two crits on Ven. Ooh. I just walked away for a second to double check the score. Crit hit, he has enduring. And here comes another hit crit coming in for the resistance. Nothing. I think during planning here, I'm going to have to run over there and double check the damage. Yeah. Here's Scum again. Three hits. Plow, yeah, two evades. And that was, uh, I think, a damage into Temin, if I'm not mistaken there. Yeah. Here comes Bosk. I think he has him in range. Yep. Yeah. He's stretching, checking. He should be going into Han, I believe. Yeah. Or not Han, excuse me, Poe. Oh. Hit crit, I think. Did he? He's able to convert one. Was that with? Oh, with the ray. With ray, he used the force. Got mm -hmm. it. So he did take a shield there on Poe. Cad Solis with the shot here into Poe Dameron. What do we got? Two hits. This is the focus. Alright, one of aid. And Scum is continuing its onslaught. Two hits. I believe this is the Mandalorian guard into Neon there. Now it looks like we're getting some damage cards. I believe Nian has taken two damage, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go double check all that damage. All right. All right. Uh, in the meantime, it looks like uh, Mima asked about how does the pairings work. Are you gonna play somebody from? Uh, hold on. Let's let's let them finish. 
here. I guess we weren't quite done. Oh, Timmons got to shoot. He's checking the heavy laser cannon. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Checking to see if he can get Fenral. So just so you have your answer ready, the question is whether or not, like, do you, how, how does pairings work? Do you play the next person, like, the winner of this, this game, or how does, how does it all work? All yeah. right. Just to give that explanation. And that's going to be four hits on that heavy laser cannon, two blanks, and did we just delete? I think he's gone. We just deleted a ship, didn't we? Four hits could kill any ship. Fan Rao's gone! Best oh ship on this side. Oh my god. god. That's a game changer. Let's get some Fs in the chat. That is uh, brutal. That is absolutely brutal. What's he gonna oh. do? Fenrao gone. It's gonna be sad. Is what he's gonna do. Step one: be sad. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I'll be right back to double check. Explain how uh, how your next match is gonna go. All right. So the pairings work by whoever wins the match uh, gets paired up with other people with wins. Like if one person has two wins, one loss, then he gets paired up against another person with two wins, one loss. Uh, since I have the buy, it counts as a uh, win, so I'll be uh, paired up against someone one win, one loss. I mean zero losses, because it's the first round. I should be on... My game should be on stream in the second round, so... Be there. Welcome back. <laughs> Alrighty, I have the deets. Alright. Alrighty, so. Looking on the scum side, obviously we know Rip Fen. Um, it looks like Joy has a single damage. Cad has a single damage, which we did have already. Yeah. I'm not, sorry. Joey is clean. It's the Mandalorian Royal Guard that has a damage on there. Yep. All right. We're good there. On the other side, lots of things are bleeding. So Poe Dameron has lost two shields. We have that correct. Nia Nub has lost all three shields. And has taken two cards. Down to two now. Down to two, yeah. That's why what people were saying was if Fen, you know, Fen ends up dying, but if you would have spent the focus on that initial attack, mm -hmm. he would have been able to clear Nian off the board, even though he went down and would have been up in the trade. Yeah. Right? Or even more even in the trade. Uh, and then it looks like Temin Temin Wexley has lost three shields and has a crit and I think that's is that hole breach? That looks like hole breach. So yeah, there was a lot that went on in that one. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no, sorry. That was for, sorry, false, false advertising. That whole breach was not Temin's. Temin has won two shields down. That crit is actually on Elo, the dead oh. ship. We're good. All right, there you go. So all that's updated. One scenario point for each, and we have a score of, we have 10 to 12 on our side. They have on the board 10 to 10. I don't. Mm. Let's see. Elo four, and then the objectives. Did we accidentally give them half? Oh, it's right here. Right. That's the reason why. There you go. Ten to ten. All we right. got it. Had to reset that. Hmm. Brian uh, seems like he's putting damage everywhere. 
like on all the ships other than Fenra, who's gone now. <laughs> got, got he on, wasn't until he was, and yeah. then he was done. Yeah. We got one on CAD, one on the Royal Guard. A lot of damage on 9. nine, nine. Do you play X Wing a lot? Like, often? Um, so, unfortunately, I don't get to play as much as I used to. Alright. Having, um, because my kids are young, mm. so I need to be home a lot. But I'm hoping that as my daughter gets a little bit older, I can get her into it. Yeah. And uh, be able to play a little bit more. Yeah. I'd like to. Right now, yeah. not nearly enough. My X-Wing time is doing stuff like this. Yeah. So I was going to ask, what's your, like, play style? Like, mm. would you, like, put try to put all the damage on one ship? Like, try to take down Poe? Or, like, spread all the damage across all the ships? So I prefer to focus fire, ideally. You have two possible outcomes there. There are times where you choose to focus fire a ship that you don't realize in the moment you won't be able to catch again or you won't be able to finish, which is, the, which is a problem a lot of times with something like attacking a Falcon that is really, really maneuverable is sure, you might get past shield. Sure, you might even put a damage card or two, but if they have abilities like Poe that can be boosting and barrel rolling all over the place and getting out of arcs, mm -hmm. um, you could find yourself having had committed six, seven rounds to shooting down, uh, trying to shoot down the ship, trying to chase it down, and have killed nothing. Yeah. Right? So I think it, you have to first identify the target that can be focus fired mm -hmm. and do that first. Um, I like being able to take out the X-Wings first in this scenario. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, if you use your, your four Fang Fighters to do that, then you can start chasing Han once all the, the X-Wings are gone. Then it becomes much easier. But right now, uh, my priority target is going to be Nian. Mm -hmm. Try to get guns over there. He's only got two hole left. That'd be a, a, another three points headed your way. Mm -hmm. I like to take, since I have four ships, my Separatist. Mm -hmm. Uh, I like take two and two, split them off. Okay. And then try to like focus two on one like group of people. Yeah. So on the other, unless they put like all the ships, if they set them up all together, then probably I'll just push all of them, try to just do some damage, and then see what happens. I like it. So you're almost doing like fire teams. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Nano Toyo says Com Cowboy Dion. Usually when I do play, though, um, I'll take some pretty big risks because most of the time when I'm having time to play, I'm not trying to win a tournament. Um, yeah. I'm just trying to have fun at the moment. So I don't necessarily always make the correct choice. <laughs> In a tournament, that's a different Dion. That's tournament Dion. But tournament Dion and Cowboy Dion, they cannot play at the same time. I don't yeah. allow them to play together. Most of the time. <laughs> oh, on that rock again. Did he just take damage from the rock? Uh, I think he did. Or... Oh, okay, so Ooh. check this out. He chose to not ignore the obstacle so that he could do use the two charges to barrel roll. Ah. Now, it cost him two damage. He took a shield and a card there to do that, mm -hmm. but it put him in a better position in the outside lane. Yeah. It looks like there's a face-up card there. Mm -hmm. Let's let's double check how this reads. Expose one after damage you fully card. Ex after you fully execute a maneuver, you may spend two charges to perform a white boost action or a red. Yeah, you could do it because it's not a perform action step. It is just an action. Mm -hmm. It's triggered by. 
performing the maneuver. Yeah. If you do a red expose, I think what we saw, guys, is the f the card ending up being exposed. I don't think he took face up damage cards. Yeah. So he, he hit the rock and he didn't use the ability. Mm -hmm. So then he took a shield, then he rolled a hit, and then he used his ability and then he exposed it. Yep. Ooh, four hits. Natty four hits. Ooh. One evade. I think that's into CAD. Oh, no, it's in, no, that's in the boss. Ask. Yeah, one health. <laughs> Gotta move forward. Gotta get into range of mm -hmm. Dead Man Switch. <laughs> Gotta go boom. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. I think it's Tamin into Bosk. Yeah, with that HLC, that heavy laser cannon, it's a bullseye only weapon. Mm -hmm. Deciding if he wants to spend the focus. No, a single crit and Bosk Ooh. gets it. That's actually too many dice? Question mark? Or maybe it was a different ship. Range three. Oh, he really wanted it. Yeah. All right. There Still two nanny leads. Yep. He's good. We're fine. Does Bosk have the reach back to Poe? That's what they're checking now. Cat Solus beautifully in the way. How'd it go, Matt? Lair, sorry. <laughs> 18 to 22. That was a close one, though. Rough times. We had we have the the original Trumbull here as well. How's that stream game going? It's going good. Close one right now. 11 to 10. Scum reaching here with their two dice attack. Spends a focus for two crits. And we are gonna end up taking a critical damage, but that's just gonna be a shield on Temin. Shields are down. Did he split it with Boss? He changed it to a hit. Oh, there you go. So it was two, it was two, two hits, got one evade, yeah. ends up being one damage. Did you open your pack yet? And we're gonna we're gonna do it on camera. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I got a um, uh, fish full of soon tier. Wow. <laughs> No one uses Soon Tier anymore. He kind of died back in 2.0. He has made some appearances. You just have to be very careful. Yeah. You have to fly him a very certain way. He's not as forgiving as he was, so that's why he's not as popular. Yeah. Still cool, though. Yeah. You still get to yell Ace of Legend when you play. <laughs> All right. All right, looks like the Mandalorian guard is going to be coming up next. Checking to see if he's got Ark. On like he's got Temin. Temin and Poe? Uh, Poe would be range three, most likely. Yeah. I wonder where he's going to go. Probably Temin. If, he, if he's allowed to. Yeah. Hit crit. One of eight. I think that was damage sensor array. Damage sensor array onto yeah. 
Did you see where the card went? Did it go up here to Poe? Uh, I think so. All right. Yeah. That's a bad one. Yeah. Damage sensor array. You can only do focuses. That's Poe's whole thing is being able to boost barrel roll all willy-nilly. Mm-hmm. So damage sensor array can only do focus actions. So it doesn't say anything about the perform action step, so that means he can't do his ability at all. Correct. So we were saying maybe it was damage engine. We'll, we'll be able to double check here uh, in a little bit. Here, sit up yeah. and smile. <laughs> it looked like damage engine. Well, if it was damage sensor array, it'd be bad. Yeah. His damage engine, it's still not great. You don't really want to do red uh, red actions on those, or uh, red maneuvers on those hard turns. Yeah, his ability, uh, if he does a barrel roll, takes more stress. Never a good thing. Mm -hmm. Is that an ion token under? I do oh. see an ion token underneath there. From what? Joy, ion torpedoes. Oh, we fired the ion torpedo. Mm -hmm. All right, there are multiple face-up cards over there for, for Poe. We'll take a look here in between. All right, they're doing their scoring now. So right now, it is a tight game. 15-14. 15-14, actually, 15-14, actually. We have 15-14 the opposite way than than they have. So I'm gonna go double check some scores. <laughs> scores right. Because they have right now 15-14, Andrew winning. Hmm. So I'm gonna go look at their score sheet. We'll be right back. I gotta check the, the crits, crits well. on Poe. Yes. Yeah. Figure out the points. Yes, I, I think I, I think I got it. I have a theory. I have a, I have a theory as well. Temin's dead is the first thing. Oh, step one. All right. <laughs> step one. Step two. I think I have too many scenario points in. Because Brian should would be have, only six, and there are eight. Brian would have fourteen because six points from Fenrau. Half on boss, that's seven, and then seven turns of the point would be 14. And. Right? Let's see here. Or is this the seventh turn? They're about to start the seventh turn. Alright, so then it's 13, and then Timon. It's dead. Timon's dead. Bosk is half. You think Cat is half too? Is that what you said? No, uh, Fen's dead, Bosk right. half, so that's seven. And then, I think he was in range two of the point, like the whole game, right? So that's six yeah. turns. So. Oh, do you think he got a, a double at one point? Maybe. Let's see. One from half on Poe. 
think he has 10, right? Or is it 12? All right, see what we got. One, 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 one. Oh, yeah. That's confusing, though. All right, fire cast focus. No points turn one. So then... One, two, three, four, five. He wasn't in it. So right. then he would have 12. So yeah, we have five five objective scenario points. We got that right. Yeah. And then one from Bosk, six from Fen. That's seven. It's five. It's 12. Well, then... But he's got 14. So I think we have Andrew's score right. There's something... There's some points here. He needs two points off something. He's got half on something over there. But I can't tell from this picture what's half. Oh, this one right here. Which one? Got to find out who, which ship uses that picture. Is it Joy? Nope. Is it Cat? It's CAD. CAD's half. There's our... We found All the right. missing points. All right. 15 to 14. Andrew winning. We got it. All right. Whew. Oh, and the crits. The crits on Poe. Oh, yeah. Last but not least, it was damaged engine right. and disabled power regulator, which is where the ion came from. Yeah. Whew. All right. That was... Figured it out. That was exciting. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of this game, we're going to be opening the Nova Open blind bags. We'll talk about those a little bit, but we got some essentially X Wing booster packs we're going to open. We'll explain here in a moment. Looks like Andrew's going first. Mm -hmm. The first player. Yes, that really matters in this game. They got a lot of. It has mattered a lot in this yeah. game. Now, at this point, the four uh, in Tem and Wesley's gone. So all of Andrew's ships are going to move first, followed by Nian and then Poe. Mm -hmm. I know one of the, uh, the pesky things, anytime a ship lives with a single point is uh, scary. Because mm -hmm. you have to waste another turn now shooting it. And if it gets away, it lives. You got those points hanging out there. Feels bad. Yeah. Now, what I want to see is uh, Poe. Poe's in the corner. Mm -hmm. He's got his, uh, his ability. He just used two charges. Was able to recover one to do that barrel roll. But can he get himself out of this sticky situation? Because those fangs are, looks like their plan is to collapse in on that corner. And that ion, if he gets ionized, he's got to put himself in a good position. Yep. I think if I'm, uh, if I'm Andrew, though, I would, I would be pursuing Nian for the same reason we said earlier, is that yeah. it's easier to, uh, to chase an X-Wing versus... Oh, and they're, they're, we got one sent out there sending Cad to finish the job. I think he's going to turn Bosk in... Try to face him down. If he gets blown up, then it's a damage. There you go. Is Dead Man Switch a crit or just. It's a regular no. damage. Right. No, but no, it looks oh, like. Oh, he's running away. Uh, Bosk is. is uh, Poe bait, maybe? It's like, hey, Poe, shoot me. I'm, I'm only worth one point if you destroy me. Don't shoot the fangs. I know he could fly onto that rock because the rock's an instant damage. He would kill <laughs> self destruct. You know what? That could be the strat. That could be the strat. That'd be hilarious. Well, okay, so how many? How much health does the resistance Falcon start with? It starts with 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. So you need 6 to get it off. You need one more damage. Yeah, I got one, one more, more damage. And I'd totally do that. You trade one point to get 4 yeah. or 3. Yeah, four straight. Four straight next turn. Let's go. As long as Nain doesn't shoot him this turn. All right. Got so that stressed shot. with damage engine. One bang. One bang. That's what he's got to do. 
All right. He's got to de-stress himself before he has an opportunity to uh, boost again, or to do the hard turn. He's got that side arc through a rock. He does have a trick shot, though. It's like range three at CAD, maybe? Mm-hmm. We were measuring for uh, range two there to uh, the Royal Mandalorian Guard. Royal Guard. Call a judge. It looks like it may be range three in arc. Mm hmm. Me measuring. It might be out of arc. He might have to take the range three at CAD. I think he's out. Uh, they just called time in the round. Yeah. This will be it. Three hits. Invade. He's gonna Two live. Evades. Got one. One cat, it looks like. Yeah, that was on cat. And four green dice. Range three. Three. Range zero attack now. It's got two. Concordia Ooh. will make it three. Oh no, Concordia is only range one, isn't it? I guess. Concordia face off. Yeah. But still, still fine. Still. He's got to get one damage in here to to uh, to try to seal it even more. Mm -hmm. But at this point, Andrew has won the game. Yeah. Checking arc, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the missed opportunity here for Bryant is if he would have gotten points off of anything, whether that was boss uh, or any of the of the fangs. He would have at least tied and potentially put himself ahead and put pressure on Andrew. Yeah. But at this point, we're just kind of riding it out. We end up doing one damage there to uh, to Poe. Ooh, focus. Getting the crit and uh, mm -hmm. taking it to 18-14. And Boss gets to tie a bow on it. Single hit. And that is safe. 14-18. Ah, oh, sorry, we got one more. One more shot. Joy Here shot. comes Joy. Joy says, don't forget about me. <laughs> Checking the line here. Does it catch the actual base? Yes, it does. Hit, hit crit. crit. Nothing. So Poe ends up down to three hole in the end. What's our final score, Matt? 14-18, Andrew Lewinsky. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen. Row 6, 626, Chief, and Jay List, our Grand Admiral patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron, out.